we want to graph the equation in point slope form where the equation is given as y plus two equals three times the quantity x minus one. Just for a quick review, here's the point slope form of a linear equation and they call it point slope form because by inspecting the equation you can determine the slope and a point on the line. M is the slope of the line and the line contains the point x sub one comma y sub one. So looking at our equation, we should recognize that the slope is going to be three. And for graphing purposes, we want to write this as three over one. Remember this tells us the ratio of the change of y to the change of x. And then when identifying the point on the line given by point slope form, we need to consider if it's subtraction or addition. Notice the form is x minus x sub one, which means the x coordinate of the point is going to be positive one. And then for the y coordinate, notice how it's y plus two, and the form is supposed to be y minus y sub one. So this means the y coordinate is going to be negative two. If we had to write this as addition, it would have to be y minus negative two. But an easy way to remember is that the x and y coordinates are always going to be the opposite of what you see, meaning here we see x minus one, so the x coordinate is positive one, and here we see y plus two, so the y coordinate is negative two. And that's more than enough information to graph this line. We'll first plot the point on the line. One negative two would be right one down two would be here. And then if the slope is positive three or three over one, from here we'll move up three units and write one unit to find another point on the line. So our line passes through these two points. Let's go and take a look at a second example. Here notice the slope is going to be negative one half. And then the point on the line, here we have x plus four, which means the x coordinate would be negative four. And here we see y minus three, so the y coordinate would be positive three. So now we'll plot the point and then use the slope to determine additional points on the line. And notice how in here we have the negative sign out front of the fraction. It'll probably be easier to use this slope if we move the negative up into the numerator. So we can think of this as a ratio of negative one to positive two. Okay, so our point has coordinates negative four, three. So left four, up three here. And then using the slope of negative one over two, that tells us the vertical change is down one, and this tells us the horizontal change is right two. So go down one, right two, and we can do this several times if we want. Down one, right two, down one, right two, and so on. So our line passes through these points, and will look something like this. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.